Yo, what's up guys? Before we jump into this video guys, I am gonna do a little giveaway, nothing too big, a little giveaway just to give to y'all, haven't done a giveaway in a while. So I am gonna give away some baits. You see I have some crawls right here, and then I got some some worms here. And then I have these little swim baits. They're not actual swim, they're like little swimmers, and you put a hook through there. I tried them out, they're pretty cool, I like the way they swim. And then I got some uh, saucy swimmers. And then I'm also gonna put in some banito bugs. But uh, they're not here, they're at my, at my house. So I'm gonna do a little giveaway. Nothing too big, I just feel like giving back to y'all. I'm collecting too much bait in my bag. I don't have enough room. So I'm just gonna give away the baits I have now. And also I said I am gonna give away some Bonito books in, in this giveaway. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and make sure you like the video and just comment anything random below guys and then I'll pick a winner next. Next upload when I post, but that's pretty much it guys. Hopefully y'all enjoy this video. And y'all let me know what y'all thought about the video. Yo, what's up fam? Hey, we're on the water already, man. Before we get this video started, make sure y'all are subscribed to the channel. Make sure y'all like this video. And if you want, turn on the bell notification. Hey, today we are gonna weigh our five fish. So any five fish I catch today, we are gonna weigh them and see what kind of bag I could get today on this kayak. Usually kayakers go by length, but you know, I wanna go by weight. And maybe if y'all like this video in the next video I make, I could do it by length and see the difference. Y'all let me know what y'all think I'm gonna get. Pause the video, throw in the comments if y'all think I'm gonna catch him, if I'm gonna get skunk. And uh, hopefully we don't get skunk. Hopefully we catch him, man. So it's a good thing right now. We are gonna throw a big worm, maybe a big a big uh, swim bait. We're gonna just try to figure these fish out. And uh, it is super early right now still. Uh, it's around like 6 third, not 6 third, like around 7-ish. So it's pretty early, man. So we are gonna try to figure out these fish. Hopefully we could catch them. And I am gonna do a little giveaway. Maybe I'm gonna do the giveaway before this clip. Who knows? I don't know yet how I'm gonna do the giveaway. Cause I, I do wanna show you the little giveaway. And I'll let y'all know more information about the giveaway and I am gonna announce the winner next week that I upload my video. So y'all stay tuned. The, the giveaway is gonna be in before this clip or after this clip, who knows? But we are gonna try to catch this fish for guys. It's gonna be pretty, pretty cool. Hopefully we could catch him, man. I'm cr fingers crossed when we could catch him. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's all we got. I made it to the little cove that I wanna fish. We, it's, we're gonna try to fish this pretty quick and try to cover a lot of water pretty quick and try to figure him out. Like I said, we are gonna weigh our five fish and see what kind of bag I could get. Hopefully your boy could get a decent bag. At Lake Amas, that's pretty hard to fish sometimes. It could be rough, it could be good. Who knows, we're gonna try to figure out this fish. But let's get this video rolling and hopefully you have an one for the guys. Let's go. Think I have a fish, guys? Get it, get it. Get it. Oh, got it. oh, he came off, guys. Rip. Rip, rip, rip. I should have freaking waited. Let's go, son. Ding. <laughs> we got one, baby. Look at that, guys. Nothing too big. Probably like a par being pushing the one. It's really skinny. But I did say we are going to wear a five fish. So I'm going to weigh this fish real quick for y'all. Just let me get the scale. Have it in the back. Let's see this turns on. It is one pound, four ounces, guys. Yeah, one pound. Hopefully I can see that one pound, four ounces. 
So as you can see guys, this batch is about one pound and four ounces. Nothing too big. Hey, thanks for buying me, man. My <laughs> ladies. Look guys, I was throwing this big old worm since the last video that y'all watched when I was in the bank video. Hey, I like this worm, man. It's really, it's really long. The reason why I like it, guys, is because uh, I'm a big fan of the tail. I love the tail when it goes underwater, it kind of like twirls. So I'm a big fan of this big worm right here. So I'm going to keep throwing this worm around and hopefully we could catch another fish. But so far we have one pound, one pound and four ounces on the kayak. All right guys, it's been a couple hours, probably like an hour and a half. I haven't caught anything. I only caught that one pound and four ounces, but I am fishing a different little cove. I'm still fishing that big worm. I did tie in a different type of, uh, my spinning comb out and a little bug. And uh, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put on like a crankbait, maybe rattle trap or something like that. Something different to call vibration in the water so I could catch, get more attention or try to cover more water a lot quicker, a swimming jig. Try to figure something out a little bit. They were biting the worm for a while, but the bite kind of went away. But who knows, man? We're gonna go fish some dogs right now and pitch those dogs underneath. And who knows, man? We're gonna have to, we gotta figure these fish out because I can't just get one fish. We need more, man. Let's go, guys. Let's go, son. Let's go. Let's go. A ding? That's a better fish. Bro. Guys, I didn't even feel that fish. I was just literally swimming my fish. I was just swimming my worm. And then I felt this fish eat it. Let's go. Second fish. And then let's see, let's put this on the scale and see how big it is. It's a decent one. I know it's bigger than the first one we caught. Feisty, 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 feisty fish. Let me, God, bro, this fish is feisty, bro. What are you gonna chew? Oh, this fish got so chill. Chill. Chill, bro. Chill. All right, guys, you got it. Look at that. Maybe one, one in 13 ounces, I believe. I'm guessing maybe, let's see if I'm right. I say around one pound, 13 ounces. I don't think it's pushing two. I don't think it's pushing two. We gotta see, let me dip them in with some water real quick. I wanna try my best to weigh this fish. This fish is really, really jumpy. I do not want this fish to jump out of the yak. Let's turn on the scale real quick. You see that guys, it's worked out. One pound, he's about one pound, 11 ounces guys. <laughs> he took off oh well yeah y'all saw that i told you he was gonna jump out i was trying to catch him because he stayed literally right there i was gonna net him i was gonna give you a better a better uh look at him hopefully i did y'all did see the bass he was one pound 11 ounces guys 111 that fish was super feisty i wanted to take a picture of the fish but it is what it is he jumped out of the yak hey at least we weighed him at least we grabbed him so right now we have a one pound, one pound, four ounces, and then one pound, 11 ounces. Gonna finish this little cove off and finish the other side and hopefully we could upgrade in size. I'm only gonna fish another, another little cove real quick. 
Hey, but I, I need to buy a new scale, man. I don't really like these scales. I'm not gonna lie to you. These spoons with the little, with these little hooks, cause obviously that's what happens. The fish jump out. This is like the first scale I bought when I started getting into fishing. I didn't know what I was doing, so now I know I need to buy a new scale and one that has a clip on to clip the lips. And I think that'll be a lot better. So this won't happen next time, cause I want to say I'm gonna show this fish here a little bit more. It was a decent fish. He looked healthy, but um. Uh, we're gonna keep fishing and uh let's say let's hopefully we could catch three more right because i caught two we need three more to get a total of five fish we need a total of three more to equal the five fish to see what kind of bag i would get at the end of the day let's keep fishing guys and uh, we still have a lot of time left oh bro Guys, biggest pull of my life. That was just a yank my freaking arm. We almost yanked the whole rod out of my hand. Bruh. That had to be a good fish. Yo, what's up guys? We we're off the water already. Hey, y'all saw man. At the beginning, man, it was it, it was it was the it was good. It was alright. The, there was a lot of I see I was in a lot of movement. Uh I lo I uh set a hook on one and I lost it. There was another fish that uh he bit me pretty hard. It almost took the rod out of my hand and I, it happened too fast. I didn't have time to set the hook. Then we obviously caught two bass. The first one was like a one pounder, four ounces, and I believe the second fish that we caught was a one pound 11 ounces so that gave us a total of two pounds 15 ounces but obviously guys if that ain't nothing that's that's not a that ain't nothing that's not a big bag i ain't even a, i don't know man sucks to say that we only caught two pounds and 15 ounces hey at least we caught two fish at least we didn't skunk it would have been worse if we would have left out there with no bass just you know it would it, it would have sucked but at least we caught two bass there were the second one was a pretty decent nice looking one but uh Hey, it was tough, man. Obviously, the worm was doing the trick. I did throw a lot of things, but I think I kind of messed up because uh, I stuck to the worm throughout the whole the whole trip. I really didn't let myself to throw other baits. I don't know why. I, I threw the popper a little bit. I threw a crankbait off camera, but I really didn't commit to it. I committed a lot to the to the worm. Maybe that was maybe that was my fault because after I got those two bites and I got all those bites on the worm, I kept throwing it and throwing it. I didn't want to stop throwing it, but Maybe I should have just picked up a crankbait, a chatterbait, uh, a swimming jig, a jig. I even had a jig tied on, but I didn't even throw that. So that's kind of my fault, but it is what it is, man. We caught two fish. Hopefully I did learn something from the video. And y'all let me know if you actually like seeing this video, me uh, doing the five the five fish. Next, if y'all do like the video, the next video I could do a five fish and also just get the length instead of the weight. But y'all let me know by liking this video. Let's try to get 30 likes on this video, guys. I appreciate all the love and support, guys. And uh, that's pretty much it I have for y'all, guys. And uh, I guess that's it. That's pretty much it I have. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. That uh, you already know the rules. You already know the rules how to enter this giveaway when y'all first watch this video. So make sure y'all enter the giveaway. It's a small little goal just to get back to y'all. And hopefully you have a wonderful day. And we'll see each other on the next fishing video. Deuce.